uh, as we get set to reveal the all-star starters. Keep this in mind. Once again this year, it's two backcourt and three frontcourt starters as selected by you, the fans. There were four players who received a million votes. And in the West, there was a player who made a move in the last two weeks that altered the starting lineup. All of that being said, let's go. Western Conference, all-star starters, backcourt. Making his 16th straight appearance. He's only played in six games this year because of injury. But Kobe Bryant is in there, voted by the fans. All-star game MVP so four times, tied with Bob Pettit. And he will be in the starting backcourt. Don't know yet if he's going to be able to play. But he was not the leading vote-getter. Oh, Stephen Steph Curry! Curry. Uh -oh. The uh -oh. first Warrior starter since Latrell Sprewell in 95. He's averaging 24, nine assists, which is number two in the wow. league. Both are career highs. And Steph Those Curry, are real numbers. the yes, leading vote-getter in the backcourt in the Western Conference. Out of get. the front court. Uh, they're actually... Uh, Calling him a new nickname, by the way. Oh, uh, oh, fifth, that straight, fifth straight All Star appearance, uh, leading scorer at 31 a night. He's got nine straight 30 point games, three time scoring champion, two time horse champion, Kevin Durant. Two times uh, horse champion. Could be the MVP? It could be. Uh, Blake Griffin joins him along the front line, making his fourth straight All Star appearance and his third start. 23 points a game is number nine in the league, 10 rebounds is number 14. And he's shooting 52% oh. is the 2011 Rookie of the Year. And also on the front line, Whoa. Kevin Lowe Whoa. making Whoa. his third All-Star appearance and his first start, Whoa. Whoa. averaging 25 points a game, which is number four, 13 rebounds, which is number two, leads the league in double-doubles. Going into the final returns, he was 18,000 behind Blake Griffin. He was and online all day. 26,000 behind Dwight Howard. Mm. He made up no ground on Griffin, but he wound up with 8,000 more votes than Dwight Howard. So Dwight Howard, not a starter oh. for the Western Conference. Durant, Griffin, and Love on the front line. Steph Curry and Kobe Bryant, your starting backcourt in the Western Conference. So, Dwight Howard, not a starter. How much of a surprise is that for you, Shaq? It's a big surprise. He's a likable guy. He was a fan favorite. And his team is winning. He's been the leading vote getter yeah, in the past. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a fan favorite. And his team is winning. Uh, Fat Mouth Chuck always likes to say, you, you know, we, we want to reward teams that are winning. But, uh, you know, it happens. You know, it was a time where Yao Ming always surpassed me by three million votes. You know, he should just go out there. I mean, I, 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 mean, I know he's going to get picked by the, by the coaches, hopefully. And, uh, but very surprising. But congratulations to uh, Kevin Love because, you know, he puts in the work every night. You see the comparative numbers. Give me the surprise factor for you, Jet. Well, you go on, you know, stats. You know, obviously Kevin Love has the stats. Uh, but, you, uh, you know, like I said, I reward winning. So I, I was surprised in that regard. Only if Minnesota was in the playoff position. If they were, like, solid in the playoff, six, seven, eight. Then I would say, okay, I can understand it, but you know, them being on the outside end, that's what makes it more surprising more than anything else. That, you know, but his numbers are beyond all-star numbers as well, 25s and, and 13s. So that's why you see the consideration. They're they're, they're not that 22 and 8, 22 and 10 numbers. Those are those are, are, are big boy numbers that he's getting uh, statistically. Even though I don't really follow st uh, stats that much. Yeah, 25 and 13. I mean, Kevin Love is, I mean, that's the MVP numbers. I mean, obviously his team's not doing well, but <clears throat> I am surprised about Dwight Howard. I mean, you know, it just shows you what he's gone through the last couple of years and certainly lost a lot of that goodwill. Shaq talked about, uh, you know, winning most votes and now not being voted in. And so Kevin Love, who's kind of out there off the radar in Minnesota, putting up good numbers. A lot of people haven't seen it, but he got voted on and, uh, he uh, is definitely worthy, and we knew he'd be on the team. I'm just surprised that he's actually a starter. And, and Steph Curry. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I remember last There's year, no everybody was, oh, he's got to be on there and Eaton, and he did not make it last year, so he makes it for the first time in his fifth season. Again, Latrell Sprewell, the last warrior in 1995 to be mm. named a starter uh, in the Western Conference. So Steph Curry and Kobe Bryant make it. Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin, Kevin Love along the front line. Wow. The poll question is, who should have been a starter. So we want you to text uh, A, B, C, or D to 38657. LaMarcus Aldridge, Dwight Howard, Damian Lillard, 
and Chris Paul. I think it could have been A, B, C, or B. There is. I don't think there's a bad. You can't. I don't think there's a percentage winner in that. I, I think all of those guys. If you took those four guys and added one other guy, they could probably beat the starting team. But if you had guys. to pick one, who would you pick? I'm gonna go with D. Aldridge. I would go with Chris Paul. Aldridge. Yeah, I gotta go with D. I would go A D. A D. One well, man. The, the injury situation too is coming to play on this thing too. Uh, yeah. Injuries yeah. To, to Westbrook, to, to Chris Paul, to Kobe. Uh, but Kobe. Still, if you add one more guy to that five, they could beat that starting yeah. five. Seriously, yeah. that four right there.